Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a video about something a little different that I've never really done on here, and that is my crystal collection, as well as just mentioning that I am opening a crystal shop. So if you wanna see my collection, how it all started, and then what I have on my store as of right now, then just keep watching. So like I said, I really want to just go over my collection of what I currently have as crystals for myself, um, but then also I did want to mention that I have opened a crystal shop online. I debated on not saying anything on this channel about it because I just, I don't know. I don't know if I just didn't want to mix the two or I don't know, but I decided to go ahead and do it because the main reason I wanted to even share this has to do with kind of, I guess, mental health. If you have been subscribed and have watched my channel, you would notice the last couple of weeks I've hardly had any video and it's been kind of half-assed, the one that I did do, because I got hit with depression. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. I, I got hit with depression. Why do I feel like crying? Uh, it hasn't fully gone away, clearly, but it's helped. Anyways, long story short, I wanted to make this video and decided to put it on my channel because of how much it's actually helped me. Why am I gonna cry? I swear talking to you guys is like therapy because I was perfectly fine all morning, perfectly fine the last couple of days and then I sit down and start talking about this and it hits me. Okay, let me regroup. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of people think crystals are mumbo jumbo and hoopla and you know, people are crazy who believe in them, which is why I probably haven't ever mentioned it, but there's actually science behind it. And hold on, I want to read this to you. So my husband is more of the science person than I am. So he wrote this and it's on my website. And I just want to read this and then we'll get into the crystals and I'll stop talking about all this. I don't know if I should read this whole thing. I'll just read the whole thing. You can fast forward if you don't want to hear this. But have you ever been in a conversation with someone who starts talking about their favorite crystals that have healing properties and thought, wow, they must be crazy for thinking a rock has magical properties. Well, it turns out they're not so crazy after all. In fact, everything about crystals can be traced to science and metaphysics. Yep, that's right, I said it, science. You know, the class in high school you never thought you'd use in the real world. Then there is metaphysics, or more commonly said, metaphys metaphysical. Basically the nature of the mind in layman's terms. <clears throat> layman's terms, why am I like anxious? Anyways, so with that being said, I'm going to give you the simple version of how they work. No technical jargon here. Okay, okay, maybe a few words. Crystals can grow in a, diff in a couple of different ways, but they're all relatively the same. For example, a hot liquid called magma is cooled slowly and water evaporates from the mixture, thus forming the crystals. These newly formed crystals contain three vital attributes that literally make up everything. Food, phone, house, even you. So everything is frequ energy, frequency, and vibration. Anyway, you can read more if you want to, but the long and the short of it is they are made naturally but they have vibrations in them and every part of the world is made up with vibrations. That's how the whole Nikola Tesla thing came to figure out stuff. Anyways, that's the long and the short of why they work and the reason for why each one does a different thing has to do based off of the vibration hertz, megahertz that it has versus that feeling or emotion has. I'm not a professional about that stuff so I just give you the layman's term of how I understand it, but if you wanna research more, you can. Let's just go into my personal collection first. So kind of what started it all was small tumbles. I feel like that's what starts with a lot of people just because that's something that's easily affordable and when you're not sure if you're really gonna be into it or not, you smart start with tumbles, especially because crystals can get expensive depending on the kind, how rare it is, how big it is, things like that. So what mine started with was these little itty bitty babies. So I, to be honest, do not remember what this is. I remember them telling me it was rose quartz, but now that I know crystals more, it definitely does not look like rose quartz, but I have a little pendulum thing. I have a little amethyst tumble. I love amethyst. A little selenite cube. Um, a tiny, tiny, tiny baby rose quartz. There's a story behind this that I don't wanna talk about and a uh, citrine tumble. However, that is what I was told this was, that's what I was sold this was, um, but now that I have actually gotten into crystals, this is a fake citrine. It's a real crystal, but it's 
fake citrine. Actually what this is is heated, heat treated amethyst technically. But I was sold it as a dream. A couple of other small things I have. This I just got as a thank you gift from somebody for purchasing stuff. So it's little smoky quartz chips. Another freebie thing I got was green quartz. I'm just going to show you Mike's little tumbles because why not? We're here already. So Mike has this malachite tumble. He has a black tourmaline. And, oh God. I can never remember how to say this. Io iodide, iodide, io, whatever. <laughs> I don't remember how to say it. It's like I O D I T something like that. The little tumbles is kind of what started it all, but now I've got bigger. So I bought these crystals probably like three or four years ago, the one I'm about to show you, but I had to stop because I became addicted to um, eBay and like bidding on eBay, so I had to stop. Um, but that's what these are from. So we have this first one. Oh, they're heavy. This is clear quartz. And again, now that I'm into crystals, I know that this isn't the best quality. Not bad, but not the best. Uh, this, I was told, was purple fluorite. Still want to prove it because I've never found another one like this. So we'll see. I have to research this more. Anyways. I got these a long time ago. Um, I also got this a long time ago. It's just a selenite wand to charge everything. And then I got this bad boy. And then after this bad boy, I was like, Georgian, stop. <gasps> you know what? So I was told that this was obsidian, but now that I look at it, I think it might actually be black onyx. Again, now that I know more about crystals, but I was sold this as obsidian. Look how huge this thing is. Oh, it's gigantic. The only reason I think it might be black onyx is in this light, I can actually see all the different colors. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to look into this. I just realized this as I was talking to you because I've never just sat there and stared at it in this kind of lighting. And then more recently, what I've purchased is an obsidian goddess body. I'm obsessed with these bodies. I literally just bought more. Because I, I, I love them. And then this little guy I was supposed to sell in my shop. But I literally, I became obsessed and I couldn't. It's a baby fluorite. So it's cute like this. But where you're really going to see it is like this. Oh, do you see that? It's in the light. Ah, oh, that's like the biggest reason that I love rainbow fluorite. is because like here it's like, oh, that's cute. But in that light, oh. And then another thing that I do not have in my store yet, but I really want to incorporate is bracelets. I'm just trying to find, because obviously my whole journey and my whole like online persona uh, is about plus size. And so I need to find a vendor that creates them as plus size. And if it doesn't, I guess I'll just make them. Try not to make them because that's more time consuming. But if I have to, I might. Because I bought these, they do not fit. I can get it on. Oh, but it's pinching my hair really bad, which I know that's oh, just the material, but if it was looser, it wouldn't. And wearing this just for like 10 minutes, I'll start to have an indent on my arm. And obviously I don't wanna just wear one, I wanna wear all of them for their purposes. So I do wanna find somebody more, but these have been a lifesaver the past week and a half for me to literally help get out of my depression. I do want to just say my depression is mild. Um, so if you're heavily depressed, never rely on just one thing or one person say, go obviously see a doctor, go, you know, talk to other people, get different opinions. Don't ever just take one person's word for it. But for me, the past couple of weeks, these have been a lifesaver. Like I said, I can't really wear them long, so when I'm really in the funk, I will put these two on and then just kind of hold these in my hand like this for a while, and it helps tremendously. But anyways, I have black obsidian, smoky quartz, red jasper, and car carnelian. That's my personal collection. I want to get more, but as soon as I was like, okay, stop letting society's norm tell you not to do this, not to touch crystals and to just stop. And when I started getting back into it again, I like immediately was like, no, 
I want to do this for a living. I want these to surround me constantly. So that's why I decided to start the shop um, to also help other people. And really the whole purpose of my shop was what I call purpose bags and I'll show those in a second. But that's kind of what got the ball rolling. So those are all the stuff I personally have right now. It's not a huge collection because I decided to stop spending on myself and turn around and buy pieces for the store instead to help others and so because of that I've been putting more money there so I can't really put money on myself except for uh, these two little guys I did steal and not sell <laughs> but other than that <laughs> well and like this too because it has a chip somehow so it's like well then that's I'm just gonna keep that I'm not selling that anyways let's go into the shop now so like I said the rain the main purpose of why I started this or wanted to start this was what I'm calling purpose bags I think I've heard some other people call things like intention bags like there's different varieties of these things I hadn't heard about it at first when I decided to do this because I really wasn't into the crystal world like I said I got out of it I started listening to society and anyways so when I first thought about this it was actually talking to my husband we were talking about we were we go on like paranormal kicks of watching people do these paranormal investigations and we've gone on a couple and I remember we were watching Sam and Colby if you know who they are back to back to catch up on a lot that we had missed and they were talking about how they had an attachment I was like dude they need a crystal they need a protection bag and I was like wait a minute <laughs> so that's kind of where it all started so I will give credit to my husband because he's the one that named this and it just kind of stuck <laughs> so it's the boo bag I know but let me grab the thing I have these little sheets that will go with everything I sell kind of explaining the bag but I'll just read it so our boo purpose bags were made in mind of our paranormal investigators this bag is for blocking negative energy slash forces while also aiding in psychic abilities so uh, the purpose of that at least this bag was just again the thought of you're going into these situations so you need protection so that the hope that you don't get an attachment like they got um, but then also while you're there helping to enhance your abilities because everyone has a little bit of psychic ability so this one has the most stones this one has four different kinds of stones so this is the bag so I, I made it in black so that men will feel comfortable carrying it but the purpose of like this bag specifically would be like to take it with you on investigations to carry it with you however what these stones also do you could just have at home if you wanted to try to be a medium or tap into mediumship or anything you know even just protection so it's got black tourmaline in it clear quartz lapis lazuli and purple fluorite I'm not gonna go into detail explaining each one because I feel like if I did this video we'd be here forever so if you want to you can just check out my website and this is also printed out in a picture on the website of each bag so you can see the bag and then you can click on that and it'll open the picture to tell you the other parts so we have that bag we have a wealth bag which this one is just our wealth purpose bags they're for helping bringing you wealth supporting and supporting manifestation recommend putting this in your you know purse your wallet your desk your you know it near income basically um so what's in here is citrine amazonite and moss agate um this one i kind of need now is for anxiety i call it the anxiety bag but it's also for stress so anxiety purpose bags are for helping you with anxiety and stress by calming emotions and relentless thoughts this has howlite blue lace agate and sodalite you think i'd have this stuff memorized but my memory sucks <laughs> that's what i need is a memory bag <laughs> the other one we have is this one so these are our love purpose bags for helping you with all things love so manifesting love help with uh, self-love and compassion this has rose quartz kunzite and morganite in it so and also i forgot to mention each bag has space in them so that you can write your intentions so like here's my personal bag i just used it for whatever was left over because i i made sure that these all weigh the same so everyone gets the same amount and so this is just kind of what's left over so it's my bag. i dubbed it as my bag but if you can see i have my intentions written on a piece of paper and just put it in there so that's kind of what I suggest doing when it comes to this kind of stuff it's all about your intuition so whatever you feel like you need to do to write that intention like you could literally just think you know some people it's just holding it and thinking the thoughts for me it's better if I write it out 
So I wrote it out and put it in there. And then for now, the last bag is the sleep bag. I do want to do some other ones. Like I'm thinking of doing maybe a fertility bag to help with that. Yeah, I can't think of it else. I had a couple of other written down, but I can't remember now. Um, but the last bag is the sleep bag. Um, sleep purpose bags obviously to help you sleep by calming an unsettled mind and protecting you while you are asleep. Some of these stones are also good for sleepwalking and things like that. But in here is amethyst, moonstone, and howlite. Let me tell you. So. I don't have problems sleeping, but my husband does. And ever since I made these bags, he has been sleeping with one under his pillow every single night. And until last night, it has worked like a dream. He did not work last night, but he's also had that for weeks. So I told him he needs to recharge it. Like, anyways, um, when I first made these, I had probably 12 of them just sitting in my room because I hadn't put them anywhere else yet. And I'm not kidding, those two days that we did that, both of us were knocked the fuck out. Like, I was still somewhat skeptic when I was doing it. It's like, is this really going to work? Did I pick the right stones? But I'm not kidding. We knocked out. <laughs> so, I personally love these. And I don't even have a problem sleeping, but oh, man, did I knock out. So, those are the purpose bags. Let me take you where I have the other crystals. I don't have everything yet. I have a couple of other things that are coming next week. But this is what I have currently on the site. So, let me show you. Hopefully, it's not too loud out here. It's definitely more loud here than in my room, which is why I tend to film there. But these are my little babies. So I have little tiny baby Howlite hearts. Oh, they're so cute. Um, and then we have citrine raw tumbles again though this kind of citrine is actually just heat coated or heat treated amethyst. We have green aventurine spheres. This is our mini size and our small size. They look really similar, but when you put them next to them, you can kind of tell. It's not focusing, is it? There you go. Um, and then these are sodalite. Again, we have one mini and then some smalls. This one, she's more raw than polished. And this one's more polished without raw. And then we have some rose quartz spheres back in the back. Let me just grab one. We have little sodalite towers. And then this bad boy, whew, she's huge. This is purple moss agate. Oh, look. Oh, come on. I don't know if it's gonna do it. Come on, camera. I love moss agate. And then I have a purple moss agate moon. This thing is gigantic for a moon. I have a dream amethyst tower. This thing is pretty big. I think it's six inches if I remember right. And then back here, I don't know if I can show you. I just have some selenite wands and palm stones. Again, selenite is very good for charging your other crystals. And then over here, we have lapis lazuli towers and rainbow fluorite. This is the section that I stole that little baby one. That baby one comes to like here. Yeah, those are the towers. So that's everything I currently have in my shop. Like I said, more stuff is coming next week. So I wanna constantly be putting more stuff into the shop, but obviously money is money, so I am gonna have to wait to sell some things before I can purchase more. Mike's making me, if it was up to me, I'd just buy a crap ton. <laughs> but I get it, I get it, gotta be reasonable. But that's everything I have in the shop right now, so if you do wanna check it out, the link is down below, it is agapianzoe.com. If you've been around with me for a while, Agape and Zoe was also the business name of another business I attempted. I did attempt to have a plus size clothing line at one point in time. It didn't work out, wasn't good timing, it's fine. I'm not a quitter though. Keep trying, try, try, and try. So it is the same name because I love that name. It means love and life in Greek. So I am still using that name for this as well. But if you wanna take a look at it, the link will be down below. Um, if you are also a crystal lover and there's something specific you want, let me know and I can try to source it for you. But yeah, that is all I have for this video though. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.